the one on the African savanna. Got uh, that zebra we saw yesterday has now been killed through the night. Hyenas are fuzzy feeding on it. You can see there's not much left of it, they've opened it up. Look at the incredible power of that animal. Yeah, you can see how where the other hyena is standing now on the left is where the uh, the kill was actually made. There's a lot of intestines that picked up the stomach or intestines or whatever it is. You can rip that open. You'll see all the grass contents fall out of it because everything is of nutrient value. So the guy's pulling it into this mud wallow. You see that? They'll often go and put their food in watering points like this just to try and stop uh, vultures and other other predators and scavengers from getting it. And so they can go and take a bit of a rest, a breather, and then come back and feed on it later. It's going to be interesting if he pulls that whole carcass in there. Get some help there. Sure. So you can see there where it had been flayed on the right hand side, that came. Uh, right through the water. That's pretty cool. Now, many people would automatically assume that that zebra in the state it was in would have been killed by lions last night or any kill they come across in the morning. You know, that impression that hyenas are only scavengers but as I said to you hyenas are also very effective killers hunters especially in, in, in big clans and uh, if there's an animal like the zebra that was you know immobilized injured you know not able to move effectively that's a clear sign of weakness and the hyenas would have quickly dispatched it sort of come around just grabbed it pulled it down some more coming in from the distance um, they're very very effective